My name is Russell Fiala. I'm a certified first responder and instructor for One Beat Medical and Training. Today, I'm here to introduce the USA Hockey Leading Control Kit from One Beat Medical and Training. The One Beat Medical and Training Leading Control lineup has been designed to provide bystanders and first responders with quick, easy access to essential medical equipment for stopping life-threatening bleeding. The kit is clearly and boldly labeled and packaged in a lightweight, compact, highly visible red nylon pouch with easy to grasp dual zipper pulls for rapid access. Each individual USA Hockey Bleeding Control Kit includes one red nylon pouch, one tactical tourniquet, two compressed crinkle gauze, one thin H standard fold, two sets of nitrile gloves, one pair of trauma shears, one marker, one illustration card, and one bleeding control kit label. Two pairs of nitrile gloves are provided for personal protective equipment. Before you help the victim of a bleeding emergency, put on gloves for your safety. All gloves are one size fits most. Two packs of compressed gauze, which are ideal for wound bandaging and wrapping injuries are also included. The USA Hockey Kit contains a thin H bandage, a combined absorbent ABD pad, and compression dressing specifically for rapidly stopping bleeding at the site of the injury. The tourniquet is for the immediate treatment of severe extremity bleeding, such as an arm or leg. It is a safe, fast, and effective way to stop bleeding. A single pair of trauma shears are included for use as required. Lastly, the kit comes with a small permanent marker for documenting the time of tourniquet application. Each kit includes a pictorial illustrations and a bleeding control kit label used to help others quickly identify the location where the kit can be found. Compressed crinkle gauze is tightly compressed, sterile, and expands to four and a half yards. To open the crinkle gauze, tear open the packet. To begin using the bandage, start pulling off the gauze from the edge. As you can see, the compressed gauze will open to four and a half yards of soft, sterile gauze. The compressed crinkle gauze is the first line of defense against moderate to intermediate bleeding. For application, Pack the inside of the wound with as much gauze as possible and apply direct pressure. You can use the remaining portion of the gauze, the second crinkle gauze, or the thin H bandage to secure the wound dressing. The thin H bandage is designed with a pad, elastic bandage, and tensioning device, or the H. By wrapping the elastic wrap around a wound and then pulling down on the H, you provide direct pressure over the wound area. This increases pressure over the wound and stops bleeding faster. Instructions on how to use the bandage are provided on the back. The packaging comes with multiple tear notches. Multiple notches make it easier to open the package even in the dark or when wearing gloves. Use any tear notch to open the package. Remove the bandage and center the absorbent pad directly over the wound. Make sure the H is centered where you want the most compression. You will notice that there is a strip of Velcro at the edge of the bandage. This is used to initially secure the bandage to the wound area. Wrap the long end of the bandage under the extremity and attach it to the short Velcro to keep the bandage from sliding. Once you've done this, loop the bandage around one of the H bars. Hold the H to keep it from slipping and give the bandage a firm pull. This will begin applying direct pressure over the wound area. Now wrap the elastic bandage back under the extremity and wrap it around the other side of the H bar. Then pull the bandage. This dramatically increases the applied pressure. At this point, you can let go of the bandage. The bandage is secure. You can stop here or continue to wrap the bandage around the wound. Once you reach the end, there is another strip of Velcro and two clips to attach the end of the wrapped bandage. To apply the tourniquet, insert the injured limb through the loop in the band and position the tourniquet two to three inches above the bleeding site directly onto the skin. Pull the band tightly and fasten it back on itself all the way around the limb but not over the rod clips. The band should be tight enough that the tips of three fingers will not fit between the band and the limb. 
If your fingertips fit between the band of the limb, rewrap the band more tightly and check again. Turn the windlass until you no longer have a bleeding and a distal pulse in that extremity. Then notch the windlass into the clip on the tourniquet and pass the strap over that and all the way around until you see the white tag. Write the time of the application on the tag and make sure the tourniquet is always visible. This is critical for follow-up care. If the bleeding hasn't stopped, a second tourniquet can be applied just above the first one. USA Hockey bleeding control kits are available from One Beat Medical and Training at onebeatmedical.com.